Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we've got a 20 minute kettlebell workout, 10 exercises, two rounds with 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. Make sure you're warmed up. You can warm up your fingers by clicking the subscribe button for me now, please. That would be amazing to support the channel. I hope you enjoyed this workout, guys. Grab your kettlebell. I'm using a 20 kilogram one, but make sure to use whatever weight you feel comfortable with today. Let's go. So first exercise, we've got the kettlebell swing. Two hands on the kettlebell. We're gonna hinge at the hips, keep soft knees, but relatively straight legs. And then we're gonna bring the kettlebell up, extend at the hips to drive the kettlebell forward. We've got 40 seconds of work. Let's get ready to smash this workout together, guys. Let's go, 40 seconds of swings. And we hinge at the hips, kettlebell comes just below the crotch, extend at the hips to drive that kettlebell forward. Arms are just along for the ride here. We're gonna generate all that power with our legs, by extending the hips forward. Five more seconds. And take a rest. Next up, we got goblet squats. However you prefer to hold the kettlebell today, either by the horns or you can have the kettlebell flipped over, but we're gonna be holding it in front of the chest. So let's bring that kettlebell up. Just in front of the chest, we're gonna go into a low squat. So let's go. Nice and low, drive up through the heels. Just go as far down as feels comfortable for you today, depending on your mobility. You might be able to find you can get a bit lower if you turn your toes outwards. All depends on the length of your femur. We're all different, so you need to find what squat works for you. We've got about 10 more seconds. and rest. Next up, we've got Romanian deadlifts. Now today, we're gonna to be doing these deadlifts by, we're gonna have the right foot outside of the kettlebell. Left foot's gonna be behind the kettlebell. What we're gonna do, is gonna bring that kettlebell up in the left hand. Now, as we lower, the left leg goes up, and then the left leg comes back as we come up again. The right leg is staying straight, just a soft bend in the knees to protect the knee. Gonna be using a lot of stabilizing muscles here to, to stay controlled, but we're feeling the stretch behind our left, sorry, but behind our right knee. Working that hamstring and the glutes. Take a rest. Great work. Next up, we've got the same, but working the left leg this time. So we start with the kettlebell inside of the left foot. Right foot's gonna be behind the kettlebell. We're gonna be grabbing the kettlebell with the right hand. So let's lift it up. As we lower, right leg goes back. Keeping a neutral spine, engaging the core. Doing these slow and with control. About 15 seconds. Five seconds. Let's do one more. And now take a rest. Great work. Next up, strict press on the right arm. So get that kettlebell into the rack position. Engage your core, soft knees. And we're gonna drive the kettlebell above the head with control. Got about five seconds. So I'm gonna get that kettlebell up, rack position. And now drive it up. Extend the arm above the head. When it comes back down, we got the hand in the center line of the body. 
that's going to stop the kettlebell from ripping our arm away and potentially damaging the shoulder. So it's all about keeping the hand in the midline of the body. Ten seconds. And take a rest. Set that kettlebell down nice and safely. Okay, shake it out. We've got the same on the left arm now. So same thing again, strict press, left arm, extend above the head, keeping the hand towards the center line of your body. Let's go up into the right position. Now extend above the head fully and then back down. Driving that kettlebell up with control. Keeping your core engaged, slight bend in the knees. 20 more seconds. Ten seconds, come on. Okay, take a rest. We're gonna work the back now with ballistic rows. What we're gonna do is just a soft bend in the knees. We hinge at the hips. We're gonna row the kettlebell up, but we're gonna to need to have intensity here because we're passing it to the other hand in the air. It takes a little bit of getting used to this one. Make sure that you keep a neutral spine and you've got your core engaged. You need to generate enough force when bringing it up to give, to allow yourself time to pass it to the other hand in the air. Of course, if you're not comfortable with this, then just do standard alternate bent over rows, whichever you prefer today. This will bring the heart rate up as well as increase your strength and promote hypertrophy. Oh, okay, take a rest. Yeah, that's a tough one, that. We've got bicep curls next, or goblet curls, however you prefer to say, because we're holding the kettlebell in the goblet position, which means we've got our hands on the handle either side of the handle. Okay, so what we're gonna do, soft knees, and then we just flex at the elbows to bring the kettlebell up. Keep the core engaged. Do these slow with control. Okay, 10 seconds. Five seconds. Okay, take a rest. Awesome job. Next up, we're gonna work the triceps. Overhead tricep extensions. So, we're holding the kettlebell by the horns again, but this time, upside down. So the bell is facing upwards. We're gonna have the kettlebell above the head fully. We extend, flex the elbows first and then extend the elbows to bring the kettlebell back up. Soft knees, gauge your core, slow with control. Twenty seconds. Tough one this. Tough exercise. About ten seconds, come on. Five seconds. Do one more. Okay, now I want you to bring that kettlebell back down safely. We've got one more exercise of the first round. We're gonna work the chest and the triceps with crush push-up. So, like a normal push-up, but we've got the kettlebell on the floor, horns, or the handles rather, facing away from us. Both hands on the kettlebell, and now push-ups. These are too challenging. You could do these with the knees on the floor, or switch to regular push-ups, wherever you prefer. 
you can, try and stick to these. They are challenging, but it's an awesome exercise. Ten seconds, come on. Take a rest. Okay, that's the end of the first round. Grab a sip of water if you need. Take a rest, you can pause the video if you need to take a bit of extra rest. We're now gonna repeat those 10 exercises. Let's smash the rest of this workout. We got swings. Kettlebell swing, let's go. 40 seconds of work. Ten seconds. And rest. Twenty second rest. Goblet squats coming up next. Oh, shake it out. Good work. Oh. Okay, so again, Caswell's in the goblet position either upside down or with the handles. Get into a nice low squat and drive up through the heels. Ten seconds. Okay, take a rest. Twenty second rest. We've got Romanian deadlifts coming up next. So starting with the right leg. So kettlebells just to the left of the right foot. Kettlebell in the left hand. Now, as you lower it, your left leg goes back. Keeping the right leg straight, just a soft bend in the knee. Try and not let the kettlebell touch the ground, but if you're struggling with your balance and wobbling, you can set it down, get your balance back, and then finish the rep. Ten seconds. And take a rest. Got the same on the left leg next. So kettlebell inside of the left foot, right foot behind the kettlebell. Grab the kettlebell of your right hand. Bring it up. Okay, now, neutral spine, engaged core. Lower it down and bring the right foot up behind you. You're gonna feel the stretch behind your left knee. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Keep going. Ten seconds. Do one more rep. All right, strict press is next. These are gonna get tough now. We're gonna start with the right arm. Kettlebell's in the rack position. Hand stays in the midline of the body to protect the shoulder. In five seconds, we'll get going. We're gonna strict press that kettlebell above the head. Okay, let's go. If it helps you, when you bring the kettlebell down, you can clasp the handle with your left hand too. 
again, it's gonna stop the kettlebell from pulling your right hand away, which could do damage to your right shoulder. We keep that hand in the center line of our body. We stay injury free. 10 seconds. Ah. Ah. Take a rest. Great work. Left arm's coming up next. Grab a sip of water if you need. Okay. Kettlebell in the rack position on the left shoulder. Strict press above the head. Okay. Soft knees. Uh, getting tough now. One more. And take a rest. 20 second rest. Okay, what have we got next? We've got ballistic rows. So hinge at the hips, slight bend in the knees, making sure to keep a neutral spine and engaging your core. We row the kettlebell up, pass it to the other hand. Keep going. Got about 15 seconds. Five seconds, come on. And rest. Great work, stick with me. Just a few exercises left. We got curls. Coming up next, gonna work the biceps. Oh, okay. Come on, let's finish this workout together. You got this. Holding the kettlebell by the handles, or handle. <laughs> and then we flex at the elbows, slowly lower it back down. <sighs> 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Stay with me. Five seconds. One more rep. And take a rest. Set that kettlebell down. Shake your arms out. We've just got two more exercises to go. Overhead tricep extensions next. So remember, kettlebell is upside down here. Holding it by the handles, above the head. And then we extend at the elbows to bring that kettlebell up. Lean forward slightly. And that will just make sure that the weight of the kettlebell doesn't pull you backwards. Engage your core, slight bend in the knees. Ten seconds, come on. Let's do one more rep, come on. Okay, bring that kettlebell down. We've got one more exercise of this workout. Crush push-ups to finish. Let's smash this together. Kettlebell goes down, horns on the floor, facing away from you. Come on, let's do this. Both hands on the kettlebell. Strong push-ups. Let's go. Ten 
Keep going, come on. Oh, these are tough. Oh, come on, 15 seconds to go. Let's finish strong. You got this. Five seconds. And that is it. Well done for completing this workout. You smashed that. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you warm down after this cool down rather. Thanks for joining me guys. If you enjoyed that, then please subscribe to our channel, click the notification button and give this video a like. Drop me a comment. Let me know where in the world you're doing this workout from. Thanks for joining me guys. I'll see you on the next workout.